Hey everyone, I mean, I have updates for you regarding the Maven mystery. Did Interstellar Object 3i Atlas do something to our spacecraft? Because shortly after Maven was taking images of 3i Atlas, the how NASA calls it anomaly happened. So this time it's not an anomaly of 3i Atlas, but is it an anomaly that 3i Atlas has caused? I've reported about this and now there's an update. So not only did they lose their signal after these images were taken, now it seems Maven is rotating unusually during the last contact. That's what NASA says, they have lost contact with the MAVEN spacecraft while it was orbiting Mars. And the recovery efforts are ongoing right now after the signal went silent in early December and engineers have not received normal spacecraft data since then. And they're still trying to reestablish the communication with the spaceship. So they only had a brief tracking signal later that showed that MAVEN may have been rotating in an unexpected way. It could suggest that the spacecraft could be spinning or tumbling, but why? And it also looks like it orbit, its orbit might have changed. Did Atlas do this? We thought this was just bizarre. Can you tell us what happened to the NASA MAVEN spacecraft? It's been circling Mars for the last 10 years, and then suddenly 3i Atlas goes by it, and now for the first time in a decade, NASA has suddenly lost contact with MAVEN. What happened? So this is a problem because this is part of the Mars missions, and to keep their Mars missions running, NASA is using now other orbiters, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, um, Mars Odyssey, and ESA's ExoMars um, Trace Gas Orbiter. And to relay communications and allowing their Perseverance and the Curiosity rovers to continue their science work, these orbiters are very, very important. So what is happening, guys? MAVEN's handlers haven't heard from MAVEN since December 6th. It's still silent and apparently it's spinning too. Just in my last video, we heard that 3i Atlas is spinning like a bullet and has these two jets. So MAVEN, Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, that's what MAVEN means. Things are not looking good for NASA's Mars orbiters. There have been repeated efforts since December 4th to hail the spacecraft. That has been in an announcement that NASA made on December 15th. And a fragment of tracking data was recovered on December 6th. And it delivered a bit of, well, we have to say additional bad news. I quote NASA. They say, analysis of that signal suggests that the MAVEN spacecraft was rotating in an unexpected manner when it emerged from behind Mars. So while it was behind Mars hidden, something happened. Someone did something to the object. NASA officials, definitely that's their quote in the update. And they, they further say the frequency of the tracking signal suggests MAVEN's orbit trajectory may have changed. Boof! Again, right? So now that NASA is saying the team continues to analyze tracking data to understand the most likely scenarios that were leading to the loss of signal. Efforts to reestablish contact with MAVEN also continue. So they don't know what this is or why this is. We know that MAVEN launched in November 2013 and it arrived in the Mars orbit 10 months later. It was tasked with studying Mars's atmosphere and it was also supposed to um, look at how it interacts with the solar wind. That's the stream of charged particles that are flowing from the sun. And basically MAVEN's prime mission lasted one Earth year and the spacecraft delivered in that time. Um, and already the data from MAVEN have helped scientists to understand how and when Mars lost its one thick atmosphere, which allowed liquid water to flow on Mars billions of years ago. So we know that by now. 
And then the orbiter just kept going after that, gathering loads of information about the red planet, like its dust storms, winds, auroras, for example. Um, but the important thing is that MAVEN serves as the communications links between Mission Control and NASA robots that are on the Martian surface. These are the Curiosity and the Perseverance rovers at the moment. So MAVEN is out right now. For the next two weeks of scheduled surface operations, NASA is arranging additional passes from the remaining orbiters that they have left, and the Perseverance and the Curiosity teams have adjusted their daily planning activities to be able to continue their science missions, right? So interesting, I think. And of course, guys, since we're talking about Three Atlas, let's talk some conspiracy theories. Um, <laughs> at least the press calls him conspiracy theorist Stuart Swartlow. He says that interstellar object 3i Atlas is sending warning messages to governments and that these messages are not being shared with the public. And according to him, the goal is to give humans a chance to behave peacefully and not become a threat, a threat to other civilizations. Well, yeah, if I was another civilization and I would see the insanity that is going on right now in the world uh, and the self-destruction, yes, I would at least make sure that we stay on our planet and do not fly through space trying to seed other planets with our BS that we're doing. So. According to the messages, he says this is happening before the object's closest approach tomorrow or today, depending on where you are. Um, this just on a side note, guys, it's up to you whether you believe that or not. It's just I, it's, it's interesting to look at all the stuff that's going on. But something that is really interesting is my latest videos about 3i Atlas, about these geometric anomalies that we've now found, which is really, really odd. And if you calculate the probabilities, they're basically zero that this would happen in a natural coma. So I'm definitely putting these videos in the end screen for you to, to watch it because I think you know, we have to be open-minded, whatever it is. Um, if there is an anomaly that we can't explain, we need to search for explanations. NASA isn't giving us any. They say it's a natural comet and they don't look at these like 14 to 16 anomalies that it definitely have, has and that you can't really explain at the moment. Um, so if you want to know what that is, click my playlist, 3i Atlas, or click one of the four videos that I put in the end screen here. The playlist is down here. And if you're interested in everything that's going on on Earth, like tsunamis, landslides, volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, whatever the heck it is um, that our Earth is producing, unfortunately, um, subscribe. And I would love to see you again. So if you like one of the four videos here, click here.